YouTube. Uh, Julian here, aka Juju Bear, aka Onyx the Fortuitous. If you haven't watched that video already, look it up. Um, I think it's like Creepy Nerd, seen at E3 or something like that. I'll leave a link in the description, it's really, really funny. So, as you can see, I'm playing a new game. Well, not a new game, a new game to, to, to these online replay um, battles. So, the reason I'm jumping into these games is because of the Empire of Sands Culture Pack that just came out. And what this does is make, is it, it makes Attila a little bit more interesting to play. With this new culture pack, um, you get four new playable factions. I'm playing as one of them here, I'm playing as a Tanukids. My opponent here, um, Mr. Heisenberg, he's playing as Aksum. Um, by the way, Heisenberg, an amazing name for a Steam account. Uh, congratulations, I, that's hands down like one of the best I've seen in a while. I can't believe it's not already taken, that's, that's incredible. So, I've got the Tanukids. Now, a little intro to the Tanukids, they've got some incredible cavalry, so the, the, the charge bonus on some of these units is absolutely intense. Like, I've got two of these Dune Lancers. Um, I think it's like 200, yeah, 228 charge bonus on the Mavia's Bodyguard, 163. Like, that's, some of these are incredible. Even on these shock uh, infantry back here. Got this Tanukid ambushes, 130 charge bonus. So, it's going to be very interesting to see how the, how these kind of units play out in the battlefield um, with these incredibly high charge bonuses. So, you're going to see me over the next couple of matches just try and get to grips with how to play with some of these factions. Um, if you're anything like me, you, you originally bought the game Attila, and you were like, "Man, it's awesome! They're, they're going to be doing like a, a historical total war again. This is just like the old days." Um, Big whoop, let's, let's play it. Um, but then it got a little bit boring uh, just because it became a bit of a meta match. Um, you know, if you played a certain factions, you could outplay pretty much anyone else. Uh, if you had certain types of cavalry, you can pretty much win every single cavalry en engagement. Uh, the game just became a, a little bit samey. Um, <clears throat> if you're one of those people like me, um, Jump in and buy this Empire of Sands culture pack. I think it's like $7 on Steam at the moment. Um, it's absolutely incredible. It, it introduces some really interesting units to the, to, the, to the mix, to the foray. Now, another interesting unit that, that we're bringing you guys today is these Tanukid Pikes. Um, they, you, you can probably see these massive uh, shields here. They have a missile block chance, which I believe I was watching Eric, Eric Carthage's um, uh, unit review or unit roster review the other day and I don't think any other pike unit has that missile block chance so that, that's pretty unique um, that's and it's also very useful as well uh, so you're going to be using them uh, you're going to see me wow they are swimming through this mountain that's incredible that's another another um, feature of these Tanukid pikes they can walk through the earth they don't even care they just do what they want Anyway, oh, all my units can do it. Wow, that must be a Tanuka thing. So, joke, jerks, jerks, jerks. Um, so what I'm going to be doing with these Tanuka pikes is I'm going to be uh, creating a wall. Boom. So I've got six of them. Um, going to be creating a wall, just um, denying my, my enemy this part of the battlefield. And I'm going to try and close the gap uh, as I get closer and just kind of refuse my flanks to, to him. Um... So I've got six Tanuka Pikes. Interesting to see how they how they go out uh, in this battle. I've got two of these uh, Desert Bowmen. Uh, very cheap units. I think it's like 160 Talons. Um, they're in loose formation. It just basically gives my opponent something to fire at with his skirmishes. Um, my opponent does have four of these Desert Hurlers. And he's also got two of his own uh, Desert Bowmen. So he's immediately got the, uh, the skirmishing advantage. Now, his formation is not quite matched up to my own. Um, so I'm going to, to be able to pick this uh, Desert Hurler apart with my two but Desert Bowman, but he is reinforcing with the other ones. Uh, I got my paint tools, super handy, awesome, yeah. So uh, I got two Desert Bowmen. Um, I've got two of these Desert Spears on, on one of, on each flank and they are backed up by two Amel, uh, Armored Camel Warriors. So at this point you're gonna see me push back his skirmishes. Um, so I've got two over there as well. Now, I push him back and he brings his own Kushite Mounted Shuttle Eye over. He's got two on each flank and uh, two in the middle, I believe, or one in the middle. 
my units are quick enough to get away. Uh, I'm going to hide behind my desert spears. Uh, but he thinks they're better of it and, and pulls back. Probably a, a good move for my opponent. Um, so he is firing into the back of my units, doing a lot of HP damage, so not a great trade for me there. So he is firing on my desert spears. I'm going to try and pull them back to the main part of my army just to enable me to, to, to throw some support in if I need to. Uh, let me just show you some of these other units. Sorry, guys. Two Tanuka ambushes I've got here, uh, backing up my main lines. They're going to be thrown into any cav engagements that I have uh, or, or any gaps that form in my formation. I'm going to get a nice downhill charge on these, on these units. Actually, I don't know if I get the actual charge. Mm, maybe I did. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I've got two of these Dune Lancers. They're going to be very light uh, shock cavalry. Awesome on the charge. And I've got... Marvia's bodyguard in the middle, that's my general, he's going to be amazing uh, shot cavalry as well. And I've got to throw away unit you know, up the back there, 100 talons. Um, not going to be so useful at all. So he charges into my desert spears with his uh, Kushite mounted shuttle eye. I'm going to throw my armored camel warriors in. He's going to throw his uh, Kushite shuttle eye in here as well. So he's throwing a lot of units and, and blobbing them in here. Uh, that's okay. I think he's uh, Kush out Manor Shuttle. I spot my, my Dune Lancers and I'm going to make a run for it. Very light shot cap, so they're going to be able to get away from that engagement very quickly. He's trying to take shots as well, but you know, even arrows can't, can't, um, <laughs> can't fix my Dune Lancers. I'm going to get a nice downhill charge with my, with my general unit, Marvia's body, body, bodyguards. Blistering charge there. Downhill as well, so you're going to see me utilize this, uh, this uh, position on top of the hill and get some nice downhill charges there. So my opponent's doing very well to, to fire into this little blob. He is probably going to be killing a lot of his own units there, but most of the kills are going into my Dune Lancers there, who don't have a very good uh, missile block chance. Actually, they have no missile block chance. Um, I'm going to pull up my pikes. So my pike line's getting closer and closer, just forcing my opponent back. Uh, let me introduce you to my enemy army here. Fuck, it's so late on this uh, introductions. Actually, even better yet, let me slow this down. So he's got... Uh, I introduced the skirmishers. He's got a lot of these Kushite Manor Shuttle Eye. He had two on that flank, one in the middle, and two on this flank. They're uh, engaged at the moment. He's got two of these very expensive Spice Guard. 900 talents, these guys are. Uh, very good uh, units. They do have some very good uh, range capabilities, so they're going to be using up their, I think it's javelins or, 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 yeah, actually arrows there. So, very. Uh, good units they're all firing into these pikes at the moment and you can see they're not really getting too many kills maybe one or two here or there not even one at the moment so very interesting that those two nuka pikes are holding up extremely well to all that um, um, range capabilities so he's um his general is a desert warlord and it looks like he's got three or four of these uh kushat shotelai that he can throw into any engagement so he does have some very expensive uh uh, melee units but not too many of them so at the moment I'm feeling pretty good about this little engagement here I'm not doing so well over here so I'm going to throw my Dune Lancers in and pull them out uh, they managed to get out of that engagement and into these uh, Kushat Mounted Shuttle Eye without any um, without any uh, counter charge he is throwing a lot of units into this engagement here I managed to finish off his Kushat Mounted Shuttle Eye down here oh man Marvia's bodyguard the charge is real downhill charge into these uh, Spice Guard and uh, Kushat Shuttle Eye. Managed to rack up a horrendous amount of kills. Holy fuck. They just decimated this um, this Spice Guard down to about you know, 56, down to the 40s. Anyway, my Tanuka Dan Bushes got a very good charge into them as well, so just absolutely wrecked that Spice Guard. 900 talent unit, gone. My Dune Lancers are going to get an uphill charge onto this unit. So they're managing to do their job very well and that would probably be just to, to mop up any weak units on the battlefield. Uh, they're managing to win this little engagement down here, but that's okay with me. I've got a lot of units in reserve. I'm going to pull my cavalry uh, around the flank uh, from this side, get a charge in with my um, armored camel warriors into a lot of his units that didn't really get counter charges in. I'm going to get into his skirmishes as well. My Dune Lancers got a good hit on these... Um, on these Spice Guard, I think it was, or these Kushat Matter Shuttle Eye. Uh, so at this point, I'm just trying to get into his skirmishes um, to destroy them, because that's going to be... Oh, yes. Yes. Awesome downhill charge from my um, from my general there, crushing a lot of these uh, Kushat Shuttle Eye. Downhill again. They're doing a fantastic job of taking advantage of their uphill position, uh, pushing down on this hill, uh, destroying any units down below. 
So this Dune Lancer, this is exactly how you should not use them. I got a good charge in, killed a few, but already, like, that, they were left in far too long in this engagement. Um, I, I'm just getting to grips with how to use them, and that's not how you should use them. You should just get them in and straight out. This is actually another example as well. These Dune Lancers aren't doing too well. They've gotten into an engagement, you would think with skirmishes they would just pull them apart fairly easily, but it's taking them forever to get through these desert hurlers. Very weak desert hurlers, but at the same time, you know, my June Lancers have well, melee attack 31, but even still, it's taking them forever to get through them. So, what I should be doing with them, getting in, you know, pulling out, getting in, pulling out, like it's not useful to leave them in an engagement for too long. They just won't do anything. So, I'm going to throw my to neck to nuka dam bushes in here to this uh, kushite mantis chodolite got an excellent charge bonus there so they're going to finish them off very quickly uh downhill charge with my armored, uh, armored camel warriors it looks like they got interrupted by this um you know over here i'm pulling my pikes up and i'm just going to try and do a little bit of boxing here uh, and just poking at this spice guard here and there uh he tried to chase after my june lancers but these guys are very light so blistering pace on those guys so they're going to be able to get away from any engagement that um, that uh, that threatens them. So again, just using my my pikes to form up a wall. It looks like I'm going to refuse the enemy um, any charges that they can get into my into my skirmishes that are left. It doesn't really matter at this point because I don't have that many skirmishes, and what skirmishes I do have are out of ammo. So I'm going to throw this guy in here and interrupt a charge from this uh, Kushite Mounted Shotelai into this into this group. It looks like it didn't really work that well anyway. So he's going to destroy that um, that archer there. Uh, we are finishing off a lot of... Whoa, hey. <laughs> How's it going? We are going to finish off a lot of these um, hurlers out here on the on the flanks. Uh, he does charge into my to my desert bowman over there. I'm going to pull across my, um, my dune lancer and see if I can get a good charge on the enemy. Uh, it looks like I'm going around my, my pikes there. Cool, pretty good charge, they get a few kills off that. But it looks like he's uh, hell-bent on getting into my Desert Spears over here. So he'll crush them there in spaghetti thin lines. Uh, all, of, all the while my my pikes are doing very well at just being annoying. Um, just getting into the enemy and, and poking them to death. Um, ooh, hey, this will be interesting. So I'm forming up for a good charge on these enemies. Let's see how far we can throw them. Boom. Holy moly. Holy moly, some of these desert hurlers got hurled themselves like, you know, what is that, like 80 meters down the hill? I'm thinking what I might do is, is make a video of um, some of these charge bonuses on these units and just see how far, I'm gonna, maybe I'll call it hurling desert hurlers or something like that. And, um, and just see how far I can hurl these um, <laughs> desert hurlers down this mountain. Because some of these, like that was, like they only had a few meters to, to, to build up some speed for that charge. And already they were throwing units like, you know, 80 meters down that hill. So th thanks Heisenberg for the game. Really good dude. Um, he said he was a noob, but he was, he was actually playing pretty well in a lot of these matches. Uh, we played three in total. This was the first of three. Um, you can see my Mavia's bodyguard just doing, like wreaking absolute chaos in the enemy's lines. 213 kills there. Double XP Chevron's doing a really great job of just um, doing downhill charges and finishing anyone off. These Tanuka ambushes, I, I didn't really expect a whole lot from them, but they managed to to surpass my expectations. Man, they did well. 215 kills on that guy, 174. I think I just used them appropriately, like, you know, throwing them in, into engagements that were already happening. Because I feel like if these guys got charged or if they got under a, a fair bit of a skirmisher fire, they would absolutely crumble. Um, if my opponent used his um, skirmishes a, a little bit better, he probably would have picked me apart quite easily with a lot of these um, uh, weak units, these Tanuka and bushes. Um, Pike's doing really well, they didn't, the, the main impressive thing was not their kills but how many deaths they took and that was hardly any aside from this guy over here but even then he must have been in melee combat with some of those spice guard. Um, so those Pike's doing really well, really really happy with how they're performing, uh, Rebellion Militia didn't even do anything. These Dune Lancers, holy crap, 186 and 124, I didn't even use these guys correctly, like I, sh I can admit I, I have no idea how to use these guys. Um, just giving it a go here and there. 
didn't use them properly and already 186, 124 kills doing a really great job. These armored camel warriors getting a fair number of kills, 278, 225 is pretty amazing. Uh, just doing their job at holding up the enemy cav and my, my bowmen uh, probably picking their correct targets there. A lot of shit happening in that match. I, I should really get better at, at slowing the match down at, at different points. Um, just to show you what's, what's happening with some of these um, some of these units. My opponent got a really good um, bank for buck out of his Desert Warlord. I don't know if it paid for itself, but you know, they did pretty well. Kushite Shotalai did, did a pretty good job. His Spice Guard were probably not used as, as appropriately as, as, they, as they could have been. Uh, his Skirmishes didn't get too many kills as well. Again, like I think they were trained on my Pikes. And that's, you know, they, they are actually a very good target to take out. Um, with your um, skirmishes, but the fact that they have such a high um, missile block chance is, um, you know, just means they're not going to take many uh, deaths at all. And his Kushite Mana Shadowlight, um, probably not paying for themselves, not doing so well. But um, so that was the first of three. We'll see how we go on the next one. Uh, thanks, Heisenberg, for the game, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!